Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, please take time to subscribe down below and hit that little bell button so you don't miss any of my videos that I put out. And if you came back, hey mamas. Today we are going to be doing a PR unboxing and I'm going to give you five tips on how to start out as a content creator. So recently I've been traveling a lot so I haven't been home to get my packages so the other day I was able to actually go to the mail room and pick up all my packages and I have a total of one two three four five six packages that I need to open up um, and see some of the packages I knew were coming other packages I did not know were coming um, so we're gonna open them up and of course have that conversation about the five tips that I have to start off your content creating journey we're gonna start with this box because I low-key already opened it, um, but Coco Kind, Coco Kind is a skincare brand. They sent me a bunch of products in their um, range. So they sent me a daily SPF. They sent me a rose water toner. Ooh, I love toners. I feel like that's a hot take because I feel like people normally, well, you should always be focusing on SPF, but I really like toners. Fun fact, because toners are so thin, they're probably the most likely to get into your skin because your skin doesn't really want to like absorb skincare products, like your skin is an organ. So toners, if they have like actives in them, normally a very, very good way to get stuff into your skin, just so you know. They sent me a revitalizing eye cream. Ceramide Barrier Serum. Ooh. I feel like when I started to actively pay attention to my skin barrier, that's when my eczema and all that cute stuff started to subside. And lastly, they sent me an oil to milk cleanser. It's a prebiotic oat cleanser for barrier support and replenish skin. They sent me five products. So that is the first package. Um, I'm actually gonna open up the packages just so I can like see what they look like since I'm gonna be putting them into my bathroom. But the first tip that I'm going to cover today is number one, post with intention. Post with intention. Please. I have my rose on my phone. Um, I think posting with intention is like very, very important. Um, I started content creating in October of 2020 um, during the quarantine period of the pandemic. And like I did start because I was bored at home but the, the period of time that I started getting consistent with actually posting things intentionally, and what I mean intentionally, I mean like posting things that I actually was like interested in, that I had actually put you know, hard work in, you can see the growth start. Um, ooh, I like the packaging of this. Ooh, I like that. Can y'all see? It's like, and it's reflective. I like that a lot. attention is super super important um, I'm not one to say that you have to niche down you might hear people say that um, niches are basically just like what you're what you're gonna be posting about consistently but um, whatever you're going to post about whether you're gonna post about like me I have multiple niches I talk about um, being a black woman it's them I talk about my hair I talk about my skin I talk about traveling I talk about my lifestyle just stuff like that and like I'm kind of the focal point like I wanted myself to be my brand which is why my page and all my pages are I am Camille Smith because I am me um, and everything that I'm interested in but when you start to consistently post about the things that you're interested in consistently and with intention I feel like that's how you kind of start out so that's my two cents consistency of course is really important and you're always going to hear that again I really like this I like this 
So this is the eye cream, right? But I like that it has the, I guess like the little applicator, if you will. So you can actually put it right under your eye as opposed to like having to put it on like your finger and like dab it under. I like that. Go kind, you thought about that. And lastly, the Ceramide Barrier Serum. This is it's so pretty. This is the bottle. It's really like squishy. The back says, um, curl defining plant cellulose technology creates curls that are popping without the frizz or the crunch, which is dope because I really do not like my hair to be crunchy. But I feel like they've been, this has been like their most requested product. So I'm very excited about this because they have a leave-in conditioner that I use on a regular basis. But an actual curl cream is going to be dope. And then lastly, they sent a microfiber towel for the girlies with curly hair. Microfiber towels are super, super awesome to reduce frizz when you're drying your hair. Um, I know some people will use um, t-shirts. That's also, you know, positive. It'll help reduce like, the frizz. But this one is awesome because it's actually big. I feel like all of my microfiber towels are like super small and don't actually wrap around my entire head. This one I can actually wrap my hair in, so I'm super excited to use it. Um, the other microfiber towel that you might see on my page, I'm pretty sure, is from Don't Touch My Curls. It's also black owned. Um, Sienna Naturals is black owned, um, and they're actually like an actual like wrap already, if that makes sense. So like this is the first towel that's like actually big enough for me to wrap my hair. So I'm super excited about that. As for the second tip that I have to start off your content creating journey is talk about the things that you're interested in, which goes along with posting with intention, but actually tag the brands. Um, I feel like so many people don't tag the brands. Something that I did when I was first starting out and I do now is if I'm posting like a normal get ready with me or um, like I tried a new hair care product and I really liked it, I'll tag the brand. I will tag them in the photo or in the video that I made, but also I'll actually tag them, like at them in the caption as well. So that'll give them two notifications to hopefully see your page. Another tip that I have is if you're actually really interested in potentially working with that brand, go to their page um, and go to their following and they might actually be, they might have like hashtags that they follow. Put those hashtags in your post as well. Um, because those are the things, like those are the intentional things that brands are gonna be looking out for. Outside of, of course, just like your quality content um, that could potentially help you facilitate one of your first partnerships. But this is, let me actually, let me smell it. I haven't smelled it yet. Ooh, am I actually gonna be able to open this on camera? Yikes. Oh, yeah. I tried to open it before and See, it's gonna be thick. You see it? Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. I can already tell I'm gonna like that so much. I'm also the worst, I don't like to waste hair products. <laughs> I'm taking these out anyway, so it's fine. All right, next package. You guys are actually gonna see me open this one. I do have scissors here though. Ooh. Yikes. 
god, I've been waiting to try this. So this is from Bioma. I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that correctly. Bioma. It is a hydrating serum. It's a triceramide complex with squalene and glycerin. Boosted barrier, better skin. I'm gonna open it. It's a really interesting texture. Like the material of the material of the um, packaging but you can tell it's thick actually let me see what it smells like interesting it also has boost your barrier so you're supposed to cleanse tone slash mist and then treat with this serum and then moisturize and protect Waiting to try something from this brand um, and this actually goes with my third tip which is you should actually engage with the brands um, and do an initial pitch via DM so engage with the brands actually follow them um, look at their posts look at the type of content that they like um, that they post on a regular basis whether that be videos whether that be uh, more informational you know infographics if you will um, something that I try to do is again when I'm making content and I you know try this I'm like wow like I really like this and I, I you know make a video for it you know tag them in the actual video tag them in the caption and I'll put it on my story tag the brand and if they actually respond back you know to my DM and say like wow like love this video thank you so so much then I actually will send an initial like I'll say pitch if you will and say like hey like I like really love this product I'm happy that you liked my content is there you know a PR contact or um, an influencer manager that I can get in contact with for a potential collaboration I already have so many ideas thank you so much and like can't wait to hear from you something very very short like that um, I've actually got a lot of PR contacts like emails through just DMing them um, because when they respond to your DM they most likely do like the content that they're seeing um, and of course are just like, expressing their appreciation for the um, content that you put out and that you just made you know organically if you will next package I actually have been waiting for this package for a minute now um, and I'll explain what happened Let me cut my finger by accident. This is like crazy. No, I'm not supposed to cut towards myself. Ooh. All right. Ah! So, Hyper, which is a black owned um, skincare brand sent me their vitamin c serum and look how cute their coloring for the brand is so adorable and this is it and yes yeah, they're hyper even brightening dark spot vitamin c serum that's the packaging um and apparently this really works wonders i don't know if you guys know this but like i like love vitamin c struggle with hyperpigmentation on my forehead. It's a cute little nozzle. What am gonna do? That's something else too, y'all. Whenever you get a new product, you need to spot test it. Please stop putting stuff on your skin that you don't know if you're technically allergic to. They also have stickers! stickers look at these stickers oh that's adorable thank you you deserve skincare created for your skin tone period you deserve skincare that treats your unique concerns period you deserve the hype yeah i do oh that's beautiful you see that yeah yeah when i go 
goes on before to sleep. Yeah. Oh, and it absorbs fast? Period. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not even on my hand anymore. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I already know I'm going back. Um, but I actually was supposed to get that package a while ago. I don't know if it wasn't delivered. I don't know if somebody took my package. I don't know what happened, but I was talking with the brand back and forth because um, I didn't receive my package. So that brings me to my fourth tip. Closed mouths, do not get fed. If content creating is something that you're interested in, you need, especially when you start out, you need to feel comfortable advocating for yourself. You need to. If you do not advocate for yourself, would that be with um, negotiating contracts, whether that be um, asking brands for PR, you know, emails, whether that be in my case, you know, the package didn't come, they were like super excited about sending me the package and I didn't get it. I could have just been like, oh dang, like I guess like they didn't send it, but I was like, nope, you guys said that you were gonna send this to me and I never received it. What's going on? And after you know talking to them about it, they're like, oh my goodness, like something must happen, like we'll send you out another one. Um, but closed mouths don't get fed. That extends across or outside of content creating too, but especially in content creating, um, especially for a content creator of color, you need to feel comfortable advocating for yourself and asking for what you want. So, yeah, because if you're not advocating for yourself, who will? Like, I will, but who else will? You feel me? Next package. I don't even know what that was. I'm so sorry. Okay, this is like cute. It's the package that I technically, oh, I do know what this is. I was gonna say, I don't know what it is. Okay, something smells awesome. That could mean that the packaging smells good or something spilled. Hopefully not the latter. But my besties are growing hair sent me a package they recently um released a new product keep your crown in the cloud period and i'm so excited oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah so their new product is the new scalp and hair strengthening oil with pumpkin and rosemary oil they sent me a little infographic it promotes health retention, it promotes length retention, invigorates the scalp, dermatologist formulated because this is a black owned dermatology, dermatologist, excuse me, founded brand, and promotes increased hair density. That's dope. That is dope. Because low key, my edges on this side are like thinner for some reason. So I'm low key. I'm gonna try it over there. But they did send me other products that they're going to be releasing so i cannot show you guys that but i can show you the oil she's cute this is her can i open it <laughs> it literally smells like oh my gosh and they have the cute okay 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 they have it's because i'm a scientist that's why it matters to me they have the um little leaders in here see that maybe not you don't want it to hurt um but it's very liquidy but it's a little bit viscous as well are so awesome because if, if they, a lot of them have like tea tree oil or like rosemary that's like the invigorating with your scalp it's like literally putting vicks on your scalp and i love that because i also have a really i have a really dry scalp i'm just kidding i'm i'm i was gonna make a joke anyway um yeah growing hair scalp and hair strengthening oil per with thinning hair care scalp care other ingredients it has soybean, pumpkin, rosemary, grape, jojoba, sunflower, spearmint, that's probably also why it smells minty, eucalyptus, and aloe. Yep, and, and apply it directly to your scalp. I'm literally 
literally so excited. I know I'm gonna make content about this. I know it. And now I'm going to put a what's it called on the screen so you don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, y'all about to be hype about this. Oh, they went crazy. Hold on a second. Yeah, oh, and they sent me to her. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm gonna try this when I take these things out. <laughs> Sorry y'all, I really would tell you, but lips are super thick. Now for tip number five. I'ma put y'all on to a few websites that you can look at or uh, micro influencer agencies that you can try um, to start out. A website that I tend to use, that I used to use a lot is Octoly. Um, Octoly is for um, smaller content creators. I do believe that there are requirements to get onto or accepted into, I guess, like the platform. I think you do have to have a thousand followers. Um, and I there's like maybe one or two other rules. I'll also put that on the screen here too so you can see that. But Octoly is super cool because it does give you a chance to get products um, and kind of get into the, also the routine of like receiving products, trying products, and then creating content on them. Um, that is entirely a product for content um, situation, um, but there has been a lot of brands that I have I've tried uh, their products. I've been wanting to try their products. I saw their product, ordered it, and then have actually been able to segue into paid partnerships. Um, this hyper. Um, even brightening dark spot vitamin C serum is actually from Octoly um, because I've really been wanting to try their products so for me making content about their products when I already have seen a lot of my mutuals say that they love it um, it's black owned um, and one of my skincare concerns is hyperpigmentation for me it's a no-brainer and I do hope to of course in the future be able to be paid for the content that I eventually make because I know that I make quality content you see what I'm saying? So Octoly is definitely a really good um, website. There's other um, websites like um, uh, Aspire IQ. There's um, there's one other that I'm forgetting. There is oof. There is Influence Influencer. You can try that. Um, there's a few other ones and I can put those all in the description box too. Ones that I know of that I've heard, you know, some positive things about. Um, but yeah, starting there I think will be positive. Um, some people just really like, you know, getting the products and like that's perfectly fine. Um, I think now where I'm at in my content creating journey is that I recognize the time and effort that it takes to create this content, especially um the quality content that i make and because i'm a perfectionist i know that my content is good um whether that be video or pictures so i'm in the stage that i really only want to be taking paid partnerships um but starting out 100 percent i was on octoly all the time so i definitely would try that out if that's something that's interesting to you um and something else cool on octoly is you can kind of pick what you're interested in so i personally am interested more in skin um hair stuff things of that nature um you also can do like lifestyle wellness um pets you can do clothing things like that so something that you can potentially look into um, a micro influencer agency that i i, I personally like it is called join palm um, I've actually had a paid partnership through them before. Um, they reached out to me and wanted me to work on um, or work with Twist by Udad. Um, if you follow me on TikTok, you probably saw that video, but I really, really like Twist products. Um, especially when I have like my hair out, you know, and I like am styling it. Their styling cream is so good. Um, but yeah, I would definitely try to look out for that as well. They actually email like 
weekly newsletters with the partnerships that they have. Um, they work with brands from Twist by Uda to um, First Aid Beauty to, um, I don't know, just like a bunch of different, you know, well-known brands. So I would definitely look into that if you're interested in. All right, last package. I don't know what that was either. Um, I'm like, where are my handy dandy scissors? <laughs> All right, this is the package that I technically don't know what it is. about it but I did tell them that I at least would try it um, so oh I didn't know that they're owned by L'Oreal interesting anyway um, so yeah they sent me three different um, bars of soap so this is probably the one that I'm gonna end up using it's the ultra facial concentrated cleansing bar. Mm, smells good. Mm. Yeah, it smells good. Yeah, it smells good. It smells like the ingredients though. this video we covered five tips that I have for starting off your content creating journey I'm gonna run them back one more time first of all post with intention talk about things that you're interested in and tag the brands both in the post and in the caption engage with those brands follow them and do an initial pitch via DM if you are interested in turning that interaction into a potential paid collaboration for closed mouths, do not get fed. You have to be comfortable advocating for yourself. If you don't advocate for yourself, you can't expect other people to. And lastly, websites you can try like Octoly or um, micro-influencer agencies like Join Palm are very good places to start. I will also link other websites that you can potentially start with um, that I personally started with when I started out in October of 2020. And in the past, week or so I received 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16 products. 16, not 60. <laughs> but I hope that y'all enjoyed this um, video. I really needed to open all these things so this is also half just to force me to open them. Um, but let me know in the comments if you want to hear more about my content creation journey, um, any more tips that I personally have. I'm very transparent. Um, 
because I'm learning, you know, as I go as well. So I am not a gatekeeper. We all can eat, we all can get paid. So let me know again if you're interested down below. If you got to this point, please take time to subscribe down below and hit the little bell button so you don't miss any of my videos. Um, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.